I found this online presentation recently which actually fully explains why exactly white people are white. So I found it pretty interesting. It has a web page that goes along with it. Um, I'll give the link to that in the information box. This is session E1. Why are Europeans white? It is part of our molecular anthropology series. Last week in E5, we talked about the migrations that carried our species around the globe in prehistoric times. This topic looks at later regional adaptations, or one adaptation in particular. Specifically, it tells or suggests why Northern Europeans became so oddly depigmented compared to everyone else on the globe. Now here is a map of skin tone around the world. It was published originally in 1939 and it was compiled by, well, measuring people's skin tone all around the planet. Now white, you have to understand, is a social designation. The question that we're really asking is, why is it that Northern Europeans are so oddly depigmented? As I say, the map of human skin tone, if you look at it, you can see that there's a blob of unusually pale skin tone surrounding the Baltic Sea. The natives of Northern Europe are oddly light-skinned. They are paler than anyone else on Earth. Most people know that this has something to do with sunlight, with ultraviolet, with latitude, and with vitamin D. Here is a map of solar ultraviolet hitting the surface of the planet, and the map was taken from satellite. It matches the skin tone map, as it turns out, everywhere but in Europe. In general, the closer you are to the equator, the darker your skin. And this is because humans are extraordinarily sensitive to sunlight on the skin. Humans lack fur. Now let's take a look at the mechanism for this. Ultraviolet rays produce vitamin D and reduce folate when they hit naked skin. And it turns out embryos are terribly vulnerable to both substances in the mother. When it comes to sunlight and skin tone, furless humans are balanced on a knife blade. You see, too much ultraviolet penetrating the skin, that is if you are too pale skinned under intense sunlight, increases vitamin D but reduces folate. And lack of folate in a pregnant mother causes neural tube defects in the fetus. And it causes such congenital abnormalities as anencephalus and spina bifida and many other neurological defects, and most of them lead to miscarriages. And so mothers who are too pale skinned under intense sunlight tend to have more miscarriages due to neural defects. On the other hand, too little ultraviolet penetrating the skin, and that is if you are too dark skinned under dim sunlight, increases folate production but reduces vitamin D. And lack of vitamin D causes skeletal neonatal abnormalities in the fetus, and that is skull, chest, and leg malformations. Rickets is the best known of these. Again, this causes miscarriages in mothers that are too dark skinned under dim sunlight. And so, humans adapt very quickly to solar ultraviolet. Those individuals who just happen to carry genes or pass them on for light skin tend to have fewer miscarriages in northern latitudes. And those individuals who happen to have dark skin or at least pass dark skin genes on to their offspring tend to have fewer miscarriages in regions with high sunlight. And so prehistoric groups that migrated towards the equator gradually got darker, and prehistoric groups that migrated away from the equator gradually got lighter. Well now, this makes sense for everywhere on the planet except for Europe. The explanation fails for Northern Europe. You see, Northern Europeans are lighter than everyone to the south of them, Mediterraneans, to the east of them, Mongols and East Asians, to the west of them, Native Americans across the Atlantic, and even lighter than people to the north of them, the Inuit, the Sami, the Kukchi, the Aleuts. And so clearly there's something going on in Northern Europe other than merely dim sunlight. 
Here's another map of skin tone. This one's more recent. And again, you can see the blob surrounding the Baltic Sea. It's like nothing else on the planet. Now, that this pale population surrounds the Baltic Sea gives the first hint. It must have something to do with the oceans. Now, Baltic depigmentation is not just in the skin. Here is a map of hair color. The pigment melanin colors hair as well as skin. And adult blondes are also native only to this same unique region. Now, I say adult blondes because children around the world are often blonde, but their hair darkens at puberty. And so it is not just Northern European adult skin that lacks pigment. It is also adult European hair. But there's more. The Baltic deep typic pigmentation is not just in the skin and hair. Here is a map of eye color. Melanin colors eyes as well as skin and hair. Adults with blue eyes are also native only to the same unique region. Now again, just like hair color, babies around the world are often born with blue eyes, but their eyes darken within a few months. And so, it is not just Northern European in skin and hair that lack pigment. It's also Northern European eyes. Skin, hair, eyes. Adult European pigmentation resembles that of children.